Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are looking at multi-step ratio problems in this lesson. First off, I'm going to show you how you would calc calculate the ratio of a certain item. We'll pick a couple random ones. Then we're, I'm going to do a sample problem with increasing, a sample problem with decreasing, and then have a practice problem that you can try on your own with a full solution. Let's get started. First off, when you're asked to calculate ratios, for the purpose of this lesson, basically a ratio is a fraction. Now I realize that's simplistic, but go with me on this. You can write a ratio as a fraction, and for everything we're doing in the lesson today, it's basically a fraction. Number two, of means multiply. And that will be consistently the case. So, in our lesson, you'll see things like find two-fifths of $25. That's finding a ratio of $25, right? That's basically what we're doing. And to find that, you change of to multiply and leave the numbers as they are and just multiply two-fifths times 25. Two-fifths times 20. Now it's your turn. I want you to calculate the ratio of a number. I'm going to say one-third of 99. So pause the video, try to calculate one-third of 99. Hey, welcome back. Did you do it? I think you did. I'm hoping you did. I'm going to show you how I did it. I would change the word of to multiplication, one-third times 99, which gives me 33. Perfect. That is the math of most of what we're going to be doing today. That's the most challenging type of math. The rest of it is a little bit more intuitive. Let's get into why we call this multi-step ratios. So in this sample question, I'll show you something. I'm so excited because pocket protectors are on sale for one third off. Yay! If the regular price is $21.69, what is the new price? I told you it was multi-step ratios, and that's because there's two steps. The first step is to find the discount, in this case, one-third of $21.69. And then our second step is that we're going to subtract that from the full cost. First off, find one-third of $21.69. You notice that word of is in there, so we're going to change this English sentence into a math sentence. One third times 2169, that gives us $7.23. Now we're going to move into step two, where we subtract the savings off the total cost. Because remember, we didn't calculate the new cost of the shoes, we cal or of the pocket protector, we calculated the savings one-third off, right? We're saving one-third. So now we need to take the original cost, $21.69, and subtract $7.23, because that's what we're saving. And that gives us our regular or our new price of $14.46. Another sample problem for you. I bought some calculators for my store for $5. When I sell them, I mark the price up by one half. What is the price I sell them for? Okay, we're going to do the same thing, two steps. First step is to find one half of $5, right? The markup price is one half of the original of what I paid for them. So. One half of five dollars turns into one half times five dollars, which gives me two fifty, two dollars and fifty cents. And in step two, I have to add the markup to the cost. So I'm buying them, and then I'm marking them up and selling them to the public so that I can make a little bit of profit. So there's the cost, five dollars plus two fifty gives me a total of seven dollars and fifty cents for this beautiful calculator. This is just a picture of a calculator. It doesn't actually do anything. Don't purchase it. So a couple of things. We did one question where we added and one question where we subtract. How do you know if you're supposed to add or subtract? Here are some words that will help you to know if you 
are adding, then you will see maybe the word increase. Or like our example, mark up. If you see subtracting words, you might see discount or sale. Maybe for the adding, you'll see tax or more. For the discount or for subtracting, you might see off or decrease or less. There's lots of words that might tell you if you're adding or subtracting. So what is really important is to look at the question, try and think about what it means and whether it's going to be an increase or a decrease. Now we come to your practice problem. I'm going to put the question on the board, read it for you, and then I want you to pause the video and try it out on your own, and then I will give a full solution afterwards. At the store, Sam was so excited because jeans were on sale for one-fourth off. Sam grabbed a pair that was normally $45.48. How much will he pay for the jeans? Did you think Sam was a girl? You know, guys can be excited about sales too, you know. All right, time for you to go ahead and pause the video. Pause it and solve this one on your own, and then come back for a full solution. Hey, welcome back. This is the full solution. Step number one, I'm going to find one-fourth of $45.48. In other words, one-fourth times 45.48, which gives me $11.37. Did you get that for step one when you did it on your own? Then we move on to step two. Because it was a sale price and it was that amount off of the original price, we're going to subtract the amount that we saved from the final price or from the original price to give us the final price. So that will look like this. We'll take $45.48 minus $11.37. And that leaves us with $34.11. That's what Sam's going to pay for his jeans. couple things to take away. One, if you're finding the ratio of a number, it means multiplying. Of means multiplying. If it's an increasing or expanding, growing amount, then you are going to add that ratio to the amount. If it is decreasing, you will subtract. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.